If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, November 13th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The Missouri State Bears are aiming to be the best swim team in the Show Me State, and this season could get them closer to that goal. Despite losing a dual meet last weekend to the Missouri Tigers, Missouri State has some impressive performances. And joining me on the show today in the Finis Monitor is Paul Lee, who had a great meet. His times in the 100 and 200 backstrokes against Missouri make him the seventh fastest in the country right now. And to talk about that meet, Paul joins us from Springfield, Missouri. Paul, it's good to see you. How are you today? Good to see you. Uh, I'm all right. Long day so far, but uh, thank you for having me so much. Thank you so much. Long day in, in what regard? Um, cat class. Um, just changed my major, so see what my career has in front of me. Well, that is always a trying thing. I actually did that myself in college, and you're very unsure, I, I, I would imagine. So, yeah. <laughs> But I think I got it now. So what did you change your major from? It was accounting. And as a junior this year, accounting is super hard, super difficult. So I changed it to logistics. I hope you didn't just change it to logistics because it's easier. No, definitely. No, 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 no never. I like, I like the difficulty. OK, so you're talking career wise. What would a degree in logistics get you? Uh, what do you mean? In terms of a job, if, if you went, where would you, where would a logistics major be looking for in a career, kind of a job? I guess, I guess dealing with a lot of numbers, I guess, taking inventory, um, working in um, distribution center, I guess, uh, working with, um, I guess, a lot of products from producers to consumers, so. Well, let's talk numbers. 4803, 100 back, 1457, 200 back, 20.48, 50 free last weekend against Missouri State. I, I couldn't be upset with those times. I would imagine you're pretty excited about those. Yeah, I'm super pumped. I am so pumped. That just proves how much uh, Dave's working me, my coach, uh, everybody pushing me, swimmers on the team, uh, athletic trainers. I guess it just shows how well our program's improved. Well, of all the dual meets this season, um, would you say that this, this one you just had against Missouri is the most important one? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Missouri is super fast. Uh, they're super quick. They're nationally ranked. So it was really exciting to come into a non-ranked team uh, racing us. Um, it was just like, just to see where we, we, uh, how we are against a national team. So I think we did quite well, actually. Yeah, even though you lost, was there, was there a lot of Besides taking your swims aside, did the team have a lot of positives coming from that meet? Oh, yeah. Man, I am so pumped about my team. Uh, they're doing so well. They're racing so fast, like this early in the season. So, And my coach is working us extra hard. So like it just the times that they went, the positive attitudes that they had, cheering for each one of us, it's just I couldn't ask for a better team. 315 in that 400 medley relay, that was where you went that 4805. And now you guys are in the top 10 in the relays. I mean, really, this must have been one of those really special meets. Were you guys really looking? I mean, did you guys even expect that you would have such fast times? I, I, I was not expecting that at all. Um, coming from like uh, our pool, it's not one of those like Mizzou pools, but going that time in this kind of pool, it was, it was awesome. I was, after my race, I was just super pumped watching the other three guys race so fast. Well, I don't want to go any further without mentioning that last season you were the first Missouri swimmer to make Missouri State swimmer to make the NCAA's in about eight years, and that you were the first in history to place in the top 16 thanks to your 15th place in the 200 backstroke. Um, are we going to see any more Missouri State swimmers qualifying this year? Oh, definitely, um, definitely. I think that's one of our main goals this year, uh, besides conferences, to. Bring a lot of swimmers to the NCAAs because I know they deserve it. The whole team deserves to go there and be nationally recognized. 
it must have been a pretty lonely experience just having you and your coach Dave Collins there on the deck and you had these other teams with you know 16 17 18 servers and just a little oh. old Missouri State there oh yeah yeah the guys there it was an awesome experience the guys there were like twice my size and I wanted to get everybody's autographs it was it was it was awesome well, you can't get too starstruck there. They're probably going to want your autograph now. You got, <laughs> what was it like for you to, to uh, not only represent Missouri State and CLAs, but to get that second swim in the tuner back? Ah, uh, that was awesome. Like I was not expecting that. I got so lucky uh, with that time. I wasn't. I was not expecting to go that fast. Uh, well, that time, but um, I was super pumped that I actually got to stay instead of like watch finals. I got to. I got to be in finals. So it was awesome. And uh, that medley relay, as we said, it could be, it could be something you get to swim next. Hopefully, season. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we'll make it. Yeah. Yeah, that, those medley so, relays get pretty tough at the end of the season when you're trying to get that A cut, and if you don't get the A cut, or you're fast enough to get a, get that in. So, I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys are going to do well. I mean, 3:15 says speaks a lot about what you guys are going to be doing the rest of the season. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we're trying definitely hard this year. So um, you mentioned there's a lot of guys that are hoping, you're hoping to bring NCAAs with you. Tell us about some of them. Um, one of them is Uvis uh, Kalanins. Uh, he's from Latvia. He went to the Olympics uh, for Latvia uh, last year. Um, Vitaly Berishak is from Ukraine. These two guys, Uvis and Vitaly, are ultra huge. They're big guys. They're studs. They're studs on the team. And um, yeah, we have uh, another breast choker. Uvis swims, Uvis swims free. Vitaly swims fly. Jerry Springer, or Isaac Springer, he swims uh, breast choker. He's from Omaha, Nebraska. And he's, all those three guys are ultra talented and they deserve to go to the NCAA place. Well, I'm sure we'll have to keep our, I'm sure you guys are keeping your fingers crossed. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> well, uh, enough about your team. Let's talk about you now. Um, you're from the Midwest. You grew up in Oklahoma and moved to southwestern Missouri. Do you just like the harsh Midwestern winters that much that you wanted to stay? <laughs> right. Well, today, actually, actually yesterday, it was like 60 degrees, but now today it's 25 degrees. So, yeah, Missouri is, you can't ever trust the weathermen in Missouri. But um, <laughs> I, liked, I, liked, I, liked to, I liked going to MSU because um, it's close to home. I can drive home whenever I want on the weekends, and it's close to family. So Yeah, you're about 300 miles from your hometown of Moore, Oklahoma, one of the kind of like a, a subdivision of Oklahoma City. Did mm -hmm. uh, How often do you get to go home? Uh, when my head coach allows us, which is never. But um, uh, special, like, I guess special days, like my sister's birthdays, uh, my mom's birthdays, my stepdad's birthdays. Um, just, I feel like two days, two days, two day free time. Okay, that's not too bad. Do your, does your family get to come to Springfield and watch your dual meets? Uh, yes, my sisters definitely, they go a lot. Um, my parents work a lot, so some, uh, they'll, go, they'll go to some meets, but they work a lot, so my sisters come a lot. Did, do you have any family come to Springfield to watch you swim those fast times last weekend? Yes, my older sister did. Okay. So she, she saw a great meet against Mizzou. And she, so. she probably told your parents, look, well, you missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, she did. My mom calls me every day asking about it, like, I'm so sorry that I didn't come. And yeah, my mom missed out. Well, that's okay. There'll, there'll be plenty more, and, and she'll be able to go into double A's and, and watch you um, get top eight now in the, hundred, in the tuner back. Ooh. I'll, I'll try. I'll try to make top eight. Yeah, I'm not trying to put any pressure on you. You got enough uh, pressure on you. You got. You got a lot of history to, to make this season. Yes, sir. Well, uh, Paul, I want to before we let you go, we want to submit you to our final five. These are five questions we ask all of our guests uh, at the end of the show. And first question, um, I know you swam the tuner. I am in NCAA, so you might uh, be, be curious to get your answer on this. If you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? Wow. Um, I would. I guess I would swim backstroke first, start off in the water, because starting off the blocks would just kill my legs. Uh, I guess after breaststroke, I, or actually, actually after backstroke, I would do freestyle because they're both similar, and I guess fly and breast because I am not, I am not good at any of those strokes. So I just somehow finish to the wall, swimming both of those legs. 
Okay. Um, what's a career or job that you would most like to try? You know, there's the Food Network channels, the food eating contests, I would like to do that. I would love to eat food for a living. Well, you're a swimmer, so you know what it's all about to consume <laughs> copious amounts of calories. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, what's a career you would definitely not like to try? Uh, speaking, or coming back from earlier, uh, I guess accounting, because okay. it's hard. Yeah, so you, you, you learned that. You learned it very early. So that's yeah, <laughs> I did. Um, if you could change or add any of the rules in the swimming rule book, what would it be? Ooh, um, I guess finishing fully submerged on the backstroke finish. I, I still struggle with that, I guess. And um, give us little guys handicap. Like, let us, uh, I guess, go off the blocks a little early, you know, help the little guys out. Yeah, well, I would think Matt Grievers would be one to very much oh, oppose yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he is big. All right, last question for you, Paul. Where do you like to go for vacation? Ooh, um, I like to, I've been to Vietnam once, and I want to, I want to go again. I'm the first generation over here, so... Um, yeah, I'd like to go to Vietnam again, go back to my culture, you know. Sure, it's a very beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It well, Paul, awesome. thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on your yes, dual sir. meet from the past weekend, and we look forward to seeing how not just you, but the rest of Missouri State does the rest of the season. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor. Well, Thank you so much. It's our pleasure, Paul. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today's Morning Swim Show. Be sure to keep up with the latest news in aquatic sports by going to SwimmingWorld.com and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.